Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Really, as good as ever been. <laughs> so, uh, Venus Doom, new album. Um, what represent Venus? Yeah. Is just because of the woman or something else? Uh, mm. Well, also because of that, you know, it's uh, we had an another alternative that would have been penis boom, <laughs> but that that would have been kind of not as philanthropic as, uh, oh. as we wanted to celebrate the uh, the uh, great womanhood mm -hmm. and praise it and uh, put it on pedestal, sonic pedestal for the good of all mankind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Is Held On Festival going to happen this year? I believe it will happen again, yes. Yeah, we're booking the bands now mm -hmm. at this moment, so I don't know who's playing, but uh, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a hard, hard, you know, it's a tough time in a year mm -hmm. to find bands who are willing enough to travel just for one gig yeah. to such a faraway country as Finland. But, uh, we're trying our best to make it exciting and, you know, get mm. something funky happening. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can do it. For him. And uh, it's true that you refuse to play with Hanoi Rocks in Heldon? What? Do you no. refuse to play no, with we Hanoi Rocks? In Heldon. I own yeah. the name Heldon. Hanoi Rocks have never played yeah. in Heldon. No, but in uh, uh, Helsinki um, We're friends magazine. with Hanoi. Yeah. We never refuse their requests. Yeah, okay. Okay. Only requests for money. <laughs> good. For their own good. <laughs> uh, when are you going to play in Spain? Oh, I think next springtime. Spring. Time. spring. We'll be coming here maybe March, maybe April, maybe uh, around that time. Mm -hmm. We will come and play. Do you think you have influences to another band, or is too early for that? Mm -hmm. I would imagine we might, we might have a, at least slight impact for uh, some people. Okay. We've met, you know, a couple of people who are musicians themselves who are have uh, acknowledged their fondness of our music, and I guess it, you know, if you listen to something, it always affects your own, you know, style of playing or creative process. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the new album, is more, there is more instrumental music. Uh, why? Um, damn, I would love to quote. Go for it. I, I can't. <laughs> quote. Some some great man said, because when he was asked why did you do it, he said because I could. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well put. <laughs> Too bad I can't remember who it was. It might have been something mm. like Julius Caesar. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it was Julius Caesar. Though. Well, one of your names is Julius, so that's close enough. For yeah, me. I do have a slight Caesar complex. Mm. <laughs> I feel like a conqueror a of conqueror. women. <laughs> 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 oh. okay, and they rarely feel conquered. But that doesn't matter to me because mm -hmm. it's a mental defect. Oh. Anyways. Well, yeah, you, you don't have necessarily have to eat the donut. You can also fuck it. Mm. <laughs> donut munching doesn't have to be based on reality. It can happen only in your mind and still be quite satisfying. Mm. And less fattening. Yes, <laughs> yes. Also that. Mm. <laughs> I constantly munch donuts. <laughs> well, um, what's the message of Benio's Doom album? What's the message? Oh, the man, uh, um, uh, well, I would think that, you know, good thing about music is that you have a liberty to discover your own message. It doesn't have to be force-fed on you, mm -hmm. like in some other forms of communications between, you know, mankind. Well, life's no bed of roses, but uh, it's the same for everybody, mm -hmm. more or less, the basic values. Well, they can be, they don't have to be, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, Music and pain and love and all those things are universal. So mm. that's maybe a message in itself. Mm. Mm. Everybody who's listening to the album hears the same album yeah. through their own ears. And it just becomes a component 
that you can use to build up your own mm -hmm. own emotional state. Mm -hmm. Open your own inner chakra strength uh, <laughs> where Cthulhu sleeps mm. eternally, dead but dreaming. Mm. I should not be waking. <laughs> so from it. now on we're not love metal anymore, we're love craft metal. Mm. <laughs> Don't crawl it. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Damnation. <laughs> so, um, uh, why are you giving more attention to American fans now? Attention? Yeah. Um, you are going there more times than... They are more willing to sleep in our beds. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, we need the exercise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, you know, we're, we're nowadays we're signed to the American label and we had the opportunity with Dark Life for the first time to mm. go there. So obviously that's a new place for us. You know, it's, it's cool to go to Seattle for the first time or go to Canada mm. for the first time. It's, uh, it's good for the head, it's good for the inspiration. And America is a big place. Yeah. So it takes a while to be able to tour there. But, uh, yeah. And it's a bit like Hotel California. You know, you can check out but you can never leave. Once you enter America once, part of you always stays there. Yes, yeah, the mental green card. Mm. <laughs> How was Project Lemonade? Yeah, it was fun. Oh, sorry. It was, it was good times, yeah. yeah. It was good. It was weird for us. We played in the middle of the day, so, mm -hmm. well, like 6 p.m., so it was all sunlight and all that, so it wasn't really as moody as we would have mm. wanted it to be, but uh, yeah. as my mom once said, so you can't have everything. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, that's nice. And it fits also, yeah. <laughs> to the fucking donut munching in your head. No, I mean the sun and the sun, you know. I'm not sure if you meant it that way. No. You know. <laughs> sun, sun in the sky shine. and sun <laughs> as your, her son you are. Well, mm. Bob, those are kind of things that I don't always get on the first try, so, you know, I wanted to make it clear. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, it was good. It was good. The bands were good. It was fun. Mm. The food was good. Mm, cool. There was a lot of people in there. You know, it was uh, a lot of traveling, though, just to play 40 minutes every day. But uh, it was fun. Yeah. It's okay. It was a test of patience, like the serpents in the desert, tempting Jesus Christ to do evil things. Oh. That's how it was. <laughs> and we survived to tell the tale, and we shall live for the next 2,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> you should write all that. Oh, yeah? You should write all that. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> it is within your grasp now. <laughs> so, okay. That's all. Yes. Uh, I wanted to ask you, Bile, how are you? Because you were in rehab. How yeah, am I? Yeah. No, about you're the same. Good. My sense of humor hasn't changed, so it's still non-existent. And uh, no, that's fine. I feel a bit healthier. No, that's good. So it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's just a lot of stress in the work, and you know, I wasn't able to relax. So that was the way I did it. A very expensive way to do it, but uh, but it worked, so it was worth it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were touring with Metallica? Mm, we did a few gigs, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was in Helsinki. Oh, okay. Um, was it good, or can it you describe the experience? Well, you know, it's, it's always challenging to be the opening act for such a big mm -hmm. band as Met Metallica. Uh, you know, but Metallica, you know, I grew up with listening to Master of Puppets and all that stuff, so in that sense it was an honor, but also it was a tough gig, you know. A lot of yeah. Metallica fans are very hardcore Metallica fans, so they don't like anything besides Metallica, so it's hard to please them. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you got to try everything once, mm -hmm. besides con some fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also sex with your relatives. <laughs> 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 